Yo, what up YouTube? My name is Rap. This is I Rap on Point. Welcome back, bit. If you're new to the channel, how you doing? Thank you for being here. Yes, in this video, I'm going to react to FNAF animatronics. Explain Foxy. People have been asking me to react to this one. I'm gonna react to all of them. Don't worry, all right? Don't trip. I'm gonna react to every single video y'all want me to react to. It's just, you know, I'm like a one-man army. I'm a dad. I got stuff to do, but don't trip. I'm gonna get to these, all right? So this is the Super Horror Bro. His link will be in the description along with and whatever the hell's down there <laughs> but yo man I, i'm psyched for this one i can't wait let's see what foxy has in store for us and if y'all dig it in y'all with it let me know because we about to get into this video so let's go Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here. Let's go. And in today's video, we continue our retrospective of Five Nights at Freddy's and its characters with a look at the Pirate King himself, Foxy. This video will. Wait, hold up. Foxy's a pirate? No shit, Sherlock. Really? I'm stupid. Yeah, he has a hook and an eye patch. Huh? <laughs> My bet. I didn't know, man. Damn. Will be both a look at the origins of Foxy, some interesting facts about him, and how he has evolved into different forms over the years across right. the many FNAF sequels and prequels. Let's go. So sit back, relax, and let's take another nostalgic walk through the halls of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Yeah. yeah. Foxy was one of the four original animatronics to appear in the original smash hit. Fo Hold up. I think I still need to check uh, Freddy Fazbear. And uh, this is Bonnie, right? Freddy, Chica, Fo Yeah. All right. So I need to see what's up with Freddy and Bonnie. Don't trip. Coming soon. I got y'all. Five Nights at Freddy's. Although, unlike Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy, Foxy never appeared in the pre-release promotional material, such as this trailer here. In fact, Foxy's famous Hall Run animation was actually performed by Bonnie in the original trailer, and this was because creator Scott Cawthon wanted to keep one of his main cast a secret until the game launched. Nice! So many players had quite the shock when first encountering Foxy back in 2014 when FNAF released. He inhabits a special area of the pizzeria known as Pirate Cove, making him a unique and popular centerpiece for visitors. Upon hearing the name Foxy, one might assume the character is female, as- Facts! That's what I thought! First time I ever heard Foxy, you know, my kids told me about it, I thought it was a chick, and they're like, nah, dad, it's a guy. I'm like, Foxy? Alright, it is what it is. The name Foxy is very feminine, and certainly not one we would associate with a hard-bitten pirate. Nevertheless, Foxy is indeed male. Mm -hmm. Welcome aboard, Captain Foxy's Pirate Arr. Adventure! His appearance is disheveled and haggard, with rips and tears appearing up and down his crimson red legs and body, revealing the endoskeleton beneath. He is distinctly canine and fox-like, as his name suggests, with yellow eyes, red eyebrows, and a pair of pointy ears atop his head. Mm. An eye patch covers his right eye, and a hook can be seen bolted onto his right hand, completing the pirate aesthetic. Foxy's mouth hangs wide open, revealing two sets of razor-sharp teeth. Some of these teeth are golden, mm -hmm. again most likely to represent his buccaneering origins. He a pimp. It seems Foxy had been decommissioned, as there is an out-of-order sign on the curtain around Pirate Cove. This would explain Foxy's run-down and broken appearance. He needed major repairs and was unfit for showtime alongside the other three animatronics at the time of the pizzeria's closure, which again explains why he was never repaired. Most interesting is the mystery surrounding Foxy and his connection to a major yet unsolved event in the FNAF timeline. Did y'all notice that? Or was it said hooked on you? Right? Where is it? Where is it? Is this where DVD got it from? Hooked on you? That's funny, right? That's interesting. His connection to a major yet unsolved event in the FNAF timeline, the Bite of 87. This was a gruesome accident where one of the animatronics sunk its teeth into a customer's head, removing their frontal lobe. Damn. It is referenced by Phone Guy during night one of the original game. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day too, but then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. 
The frontal lobe? Many theories have been crafted over the years to explain who was responsible for this tragic event, but it has never been officially confirmed which animatronic was in fact the cause. Foxy seems the most likely candidate for the following reasons. A. He has the sharpest and most deadly set of teeth out of the four animatronics functioning really? at the pizzeria during the year 1987. Okay. Teeth that line both the top and bottom of his mouth. B. Foxy's jaw is mysteriously broken. This could easily be a result of snapping down on a customer's skull, a hard Damn. object which of course would cause damage to the animatronic's jaw mechanism. C. While running, Foxy snaps at thin air. We can see this when using the monitor and observing Foxy running down the hallway. This snapping seems to be a result of sudden movement, and so would be a malfunction in Foxy's design. A reason he was out of order after such sudden movement caused his jaw to snap down on a customer's head by accident. In fact, in FNAF Help Wanted, during his parts and service stage, we discover Foxy requires fuses to control certain parts of his body correctly. What? It may be that one of these fuses blew at an inopportune time. Oh. But again, no one knows for sure. This is simply the evidence we have to support this theory, and personally I think it makes a lot of sense. When playing as the Night Guard in FNAF 1, Foxy is often regarded as the toughest animatronic due to the constant need to monitor his behaviour and his brutal attack speed. He initiates his attack by peering from behind the Pirate's Cove curtain and gradually moving towards the edge of a camera until he quickly mm. rushes the security room. However, just because we close the door doesn't mean we are saved. Foxy will drain the power from the office every time he attacks, and this means allowing him to attack one too many times can leave us exposed to other animatronic horrors residing within. That's crazy. Foxy also doesn't like being on camera too much, so the more times we check the camera, the more often he will attack. Foxy is also one of two animatronics to ever sing in the FNAF games during attack phases, with the other being Ballora from Sister Location. Foxy hums the following tune from time to time while on patrol. Okay. He is voiced by actor Christopher McCullough, who has actually uploaded a karaoke of the song You Are a Pirate from Lazy Town in the voice of Foxy. It can be found over on Christopher's YouTube channel, for which there is a link below, but here is a quick preview. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yar, har, fiddle dee dee. Being a pirate is alright with me. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. But where did Foxy originate <laughs> from? Well, much of FNAF's inspiration came from American fast food mascots of the 1970s and 1980s, notably those found within the restaurant chain Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Keeping this in mind, it is commonly believed that Foxy's main influence was Foxy Colleen. While Colleen was Who? a female wolf and an Irish one to boot, she shares the same first name as Foxy. Hold up! They're a wolf, and their name Foxy. Really? Interesting. He believed that Foxy's main influence was Foxy Colleen. While Colleen was a female wolf and an Irish one to boot, she shares the same first name as Foxy from FNAF, but more notably was also retired from production at the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theatre, and so shares a similar backstory. What? Another potential influence for the character was Rolf de Wolf from Showbiz Pizza Palace. It should also be noted that Scott's own children helped create Foxy's final design, offering what? up design ideas to their father during the creative process. When it came to modelling Foxy, Scott actually did this while on a family trip. He had this to say in regards to that rather challenging experience. I actually modelled the Foxy character on my laptop while riding on a 24 hour drive to visit my in-laws over the summer of 2014. It's very difficult to model a 3D character on a bumpy car ride. Maybe this is why Foxy looks so torn up. So now we've looked at Foxy, his lore, his backstory, and even his origins. However, there are many more Foxy designs that appeared over the years, so let's take a quick look at them. 
Withered Foxy? Withered Foxy appears in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and was a rundown and forgotten version of the original Foxy design, deemed too creepy for younger audiences. However, while highly mangled, he is actually in far better shape than his other withered counterparts, retaining most of his original body. In gameplay, he is the only animatronic, aside from the puppet, who cannot be tricked by wearing the Freddy mask. What? Instead, we must flick our flashlight on and off when Withered Foxy appears at the end of a hall to repel him, the bright light stunning him for a brief time. Oh. During a minigame found within RPG spin-off FNAF World, Withered Foxy was given a voice, a suitably creepy one at that. Listen to my voice, and you will find the key. No, thank you. Nightmare Foxy? Nightmare Foxy was one of several nightmarish renditions of the classic animatronics to appear in FNAF 4. As the name suggests, this version of Foxy is pure nightmare fuel, Ooh. sporting rows of razor-sharp teeth and missing portions of his body. I'm straight. His endo laid bare before our eyes. He also appeared in the Curse of Dreadbear expansion for FNAF Help Wanted, where he was even creepier in VR. Rockstar Foxy. Rockstar Foxy showed up in FNAF Pizzeria Simulator, but wasn't a danger to the player. Instead, he could be purchased from the in-game shop and placed as an entertainer within the player's restaurant. He lives up to his Rockstar name, singing in the band. And while he retains the pirate's theme of the original Foxy, there are a number of changes to his design. For starters, he no longer has damage to his body. And in addition to the hook on his hand, he also sports a peg leg. A parrot can be found on his left shoulder and a star on his chest. Rockstar's musical instrument of choice is an accordion, which he plays on stage with glee. However, while we were safe from Rockstar Foxy during FNAF 6, in Ultimate Custom Night he was most certainly a menace, summoned by interacting with his parrot as it flew across the screen. Funtime Foxy First appearing in FNAF Sister Location, Funtime Foxy had a far cuter and less threatening appearance than its original design. But was it still a dude? It looks like a female. You feel me? Is it still a dude? At least at a first glance. Its body was a mixture of pink and white materials, and if we look closely, we see it does indeed seem to be a non-mangled version of, well, mangle meaning Mangle almost certainly originated from this design, or vice versa. In gameplay, Funtime stalks us through a dark auditorium, where we must flash a beacon to repel them. If we are caught, a terrifying jump oh scare God. plays out, where Foxy's face literally splits open during its attack. Funtime Foxy would later go on to reappear in Ultimate Custom Night, where he was given a voice. I'm sorry, but there was never enough room on this stage for both of us. Grim Jackal the Foxy? The most terrifying version of Foxy is almost certainly Grim Foxy from Help Wanted's Curse of Dreadbear DLC. He seems to look very similar to the Jacko animatronics from previous games. Yeah. Much of his body has been worn away, revealing the endo beneath. Inside this skeletal frame, a fiery glow burns away, lighting him up like a jack o lantern. In place of a hook, Grim Foxy's right hand now There's brandishes a, a giant sickle. His fingertips oh, and toes okay. are clawed, and large spikes appear to be growing out of his shoulders. All of this adds up to one horrifying animatronic. But I'm with good. that, we come to the end of the second Yo. episode of FNAF Animatronics Explained. All right, y'all, so I'm going to end the video right there. Let me know what you think about this. Yo, I'm not going to lie. They're all terrifying. Every single animatronic that I'm reacting to, they're all freaking terrifying. Like, I'm, I'm good, man. I am good. If y'all want me to play FNAF, let me know in the comments. But damn, I'm going to pee myself, man. Like, I'm not playing. This is crazy. I appreciate everybody that comments. Yo, please let me know if there's other things y'all want me to react to. Uh, you guys are the best. I do this for y'all. But check this out, man. I will be I will be playing a FNAF game soon. I promise you. I will, man. I have to. I think I've reacted to enough videos to where I have to now get my hands dirty. You feel me? I got to do it, man. I got to work at a pizzeria and get attacked by crazy metal animals. But anyway... I hope you're having an amazing day. Please don't forget to smash that like. Subscribe if you are new. I'm trying to reach 10K subscribers by tomorrow. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload or when I go live.
live please follow me on all social media platforms if you want to become a member of my channel that link will be in the description and yeah keep the positive vibes up keep the negative shit out and with that i'm out so stay safe stay blessed always rap on point wash your hands wash your ass peace and unity till next time adios